Hey everybody, it's John from CommunityGum.com here with a special uh, Panini 2012 National Sports Collectors Convention uh, pack break. Um, I did not go to the National Convention this year in Baltimore. Hopefully we'll be there in 2013 in Chicago. But uh, Panini had an offer where you could uh, order a box online, get some packs with that box, along with a Rated Rookie t-shirt, which I will be sure to be wearing anytime we bust open any sort of Panini product in the future. Um, but I got five packs right here. They're all pretty thin, so I don't think I have a memorabilia card, but hopefully we have an autograph or something in here. Um, don't know exactly what to expect, but we'll, we'll see together, huh? I know that there are some um, special redemption cards for um, items that you could pick up at the show, like mini helmets and things like that. These are not opening very easily at all. Uh, let me break open the scissors here. <clears throat> um, and if you happen to get one of those... You basically just have to get in touch with Panini and they'll ship that item out to you. Um, let's see here, that should make things a little bit easier. Sorry for the delay. But we'll get an idea as to what we're expecting here. I don't know how big the set is, who all's included, what kind of stuff to expect. But first off, we have Thomas Robinson, rookie for the Sacramento Kings, and that's numbered uh, 239 out of 499 see that up there and we also have Adam Jones team colors insert or I don't know if it's an insert or not uh, for the Baltimore Orioles it has no numbering on it so I'm not sure exactly how this works uh, I'm not sure if uh, these are both part of the same set or what um, I don't know oh, that one went nice and easy for us we have Curtis Martin, class of 2012, in the uh, Pro Football Hall of Fame in Canton, Ohio. Looks like he was uh, with the Jets before. And no numbering on that one as well. Card number 19 in the set, I'm assuming. Then we also have uh, Peyton Manning as a Bronco. This is uh, the airbrushed version. I believe the regular, the regular card in the Prestige set does not have the airbrush. I believe he's uh, still pictured with the Colts. And so this is more of a limited... Um, SP-ish type version of the card that's national exclusive potentially. Feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. I don't follow the football cards as closely as uh, baseball and a little bit of basketball. This one's not working out for me either. go. Oh, I see another big name. Ooh, here's another big name. Steven Stamkos from the uh, Tampa Bay Lightning. Very cool foil card there. And that is, uh, again, not numbered, but it's card number 11 in this set. And here's an Andrew Luck that is numbered out of 499. The big number one pick rookie for the Indianapolis Colts. The guy who replaced Peyton Manning, sending him to the Broncos, essentially. So that's a pretty solid pack. All right. Two more. We got Yonis Cespedes, rookie for the Athletics. Uh, numbered out of 499 right there there's the back of it as well and we got a team colors of Courtney Upshaw for the uh, the Ravens you can see the back as well right there so last pack last chance for any sort of autograph again don't think I have any sort of memorabilia card in here um, unless it's some sort of a redemption for one of those pieces that was on the show floor, but doesn't look like it. Um, here we have Tim Tebow as a New York Jet. Looks like a training camp type of uniform. You can see the actual Jets logo there. I don't think it's airbrushed. And that is card number four in the set. And we have a Tory Spelling Americana card from the National. And that's actually numbered four out of five, which is pretty interesting to me. Uh, not autographed, but uh, still a very low numbered national stamped 
parallel for Tory Spelling, so all you Tory Spelling super collectors, get in touch with me, because uh, I might have something that you want. Um, so that's it. You know, a nice mix of the different types of products that Panini offers, um, you know, the different sports that they offer as well. I, I kind of like the, the fact that they have Americana cards in here, just to sort of give uh, collectors, you know, that little extra reminder that they don't just do sports stuff. But um, good packs all around, good player selection all around. I like the, the concept. Um, the only thing that might be a drawback is, you know, trying to put together the set just based off of look or based off of card number alone is going to be kind of difficult. You kind of have to know what to look for because the card numbers are all in different spots and, you know, who knows if these are actual, like, parallel numbers to the, the sets that they represent or if they're actually continuous. Um, but still, very solid overall. Um, and the fact that they basically came free with the box of cards I ordered along with the free shirt, you can't beat that.